A wedding took place in the White House June 2nd, 1886. One of three presidents to marry in office and the only president to wed on White House grounds, Grover Cleveland married Frances Folsom and together they had five children. Cleveland, both the 22nd and 24th president, stated in his second inaugural, March 4th, 1893, above all, I know there is a supreme being who rules the affairs of men and whose goodness and mercy have always followed the American people. And I know he will not turn from us now if we humbly and reverently seek his powerful aid. In a message to Congress, December 2nd, 1895, President Cleveland stated, reported massacres of Christians in Armenia and the development there and in other districts of a spirit of fanatic hostility to Christian influences naturally excited apprehension for the safety of the devoted men and women who, as dependents of the foreign missionary societies in the United States, reside in Turkey. President Cleveland continued, several of the most powerful European powers have secured a right not only in behalf of their own citizens, but as agents of the Christian world to enforce such conduct of Turkish government as will refrain fanatical brutality.